Oh, we have a problem. There's a problem? Well, problem? Well, Candy, what just happened? I don't know. Kenya Moore has relapsed back into her supervillain days and her wrath has caused a whole lot of drama for season 16 of The Real Hostiles of Atlanta. It looks like the new girls already want to pack it up because of all the heat in the kitchen and all the while Simon Gubadia is keeping his lawyers up at night with petitions to sabotage Porsche's return on the show. What is this? Nothing. A do or die season apparently as all heads are on deck from production, the network, cast and crew to get the show back on track. And I'll add to that the marketing department because I don't believe we've been fed this much behind the scenes drama during the taping of RHOA, like in its history. It's quite clear that part of the strategy to drum up interest and publicity has been teasing potential storylines. Things have escalated now, however, come back as the producers are now panicking. And out of all the girls, Drop It With Drew is the only one showing some restraint and a hint of media training. She made a stop over at Good Day Atlanta and gave us a tune to find out. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to expect. <laughs> I am still, you know, we're just getting started. Um, I'm getting to know the new ladies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good, new energy, new blood. Um, of course, you're gonna get drama. You know, you get seven women that are very opinionated, successful women. There's bound to be some disagreements, mm -hmm. and I think we've seen and heard about some of that. But we're having a lot of fun, you know, just getting to know each other and really building a sisterhood. See, not these other ones who are literally giving the whole thing away. We said remind these people why RHOA is the OG. Not talk about guns you are aiming at each other. This is not. Yeah. This is you, not married to hip hop. All that stuff about Kenya Moore allegedly circulating revenge pee. Revenge pee. I'm not gonna say corn. I'm sorry. So there's in hot water for allegedly airing out some pretty wild content with a co-star at the launch of the Kenya Moore Hair Care Spa, which she denied. The reports about Britney Edith threatening Kenya with a gun. All the drama that is going down with Simon Gubadia sending a cease and desist to Porsche over the Rolls Royce that he'd given her as a gift in happier times. He says take those expensive wheels off the show. And I don't want that $7 million mention on the show either. The truth is, Porsche, I don't even want you on the show. Okay, he didn't say that last part, but he's definitely doing everything he can to make that girl's return to TV a big mess. And I'll tell you something. What Simon is really doing is messing up Porsche's professional relationship and working partnership with Bravo. If he keeps dragging key pillars of her life on the show to court, it makes it unsustainable to secure her place. Plus, again, all the risk involved. Yep, it appears there's nothing sweet about the 16th season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. The girls are going all out and by the third week of filming, there's been enough drama that it's all starting to spill over to potential litigation. And because of that, the producers are now warning the cast that if you don't shut up and keep it cute, we are not above cancelling the whole season and completely recasting the entire show. <laughs> now, that would be a disaster because the whole show is pretty much already a reboot and if there were any more cast Jacobs, it would be essentially cancelling the show and creating a legacy spin-off the same way Bravo did with the real housewives of NYC. Girl, <laughs> we don't want that. According to the Jasmine brand, producers of the show are pretty pissed by how much has been leaked already about the season and they are telling those involved to zip it around the storylines for the upcoming season. They don't want any more hot takes coming out of the cast. Not even a word about the alleged f caught on tape. Girls talk about how they don't want to be part of the show anymore and things of that nature. This is a gag order, girls, and a warning. The intervention comes as all kinds of footage and audio is coming out from Kenya Moore's fancy spa launch. We now know that Kenya Moore and newbie Brittany Eady can't stand each other and within just three weeks of filming, their rivalry has already escalated to where they've apparently gone too far in their beef. Now, according to the neighborhood talk, Edie and Moore got into an argument which subsequently led Edie allegedly threatening Moore with a gun. Edie was allegedly heard yelling during the altercation, which has now been backed by some leaked videos. It got so bad that one of the photographers on the scene was so shaken during the incident that his jaw dropped. I'm still trying to recover myself. I couldn't even take a photo. My mouth fell to the floor and I'm just in awe. Like that was the most deadliest scene probably ever filmed on the franchise. Eric Robinson snitched about the gig. As if that's not enough, the current drama is all about the allegation that Kenya used a business launch as a platform to post content with Britney in a compromising position. Having allegedly called her an escort in the audio that is now leaked, Kenya proceeded to put out things that doubled down on the claims about Britney. 
Phew. Now, it's kind of hard to think that Miss 12 would stoop so low in this interaction, especially dealing with a newcomer. I mean, granted, she does have a history of giving some of the incoming girls a bit of an arrival module, but this is just too far. And silly, because this is her actual business. Why would she allow the launch to go to the gutter like that? Well, there are those who speculate that it might have something to do with the soft launch of the spa not being featured in the previous season, for which she expressed disappointment with production in her interview with Carlos. Like, since they aren't interested in profiling women-owned black businesses on the merit of their authentic narratives as empowering, it's plausible to see why she would have turned the heat up. But it's too high now, Kenya. It's a place, girl. Kenya, however, has already talked back to the allegations, cautioning us all to take the new cycle with a pinch of salt. I would never engage in revenge corn. I have never distributed private images or footage of anyone, nor solicited images owned by others to use to threaten or blackmail. And she added, I have always been vindicated. I can't talk about the story, even with people planting fake news. Hashtag sweet 16 fire emoji. Well, the season is coming and we will get to the bottom of the whole mess. Meanwhile, Britney is processing. She wrote on Instagram, Thank you to everyone who's reached out to me about what took place at that event yesterday. I am still processing the nasty, low, disgusting, vile things that was done to try to hurt me. And that was before the new piece Britney and Kelly took to the platform to say, You know what? I mean, you don't want to do what? I don't want to do the show! <laughs> Do it, but I don't want to do it. We want to do it, but we don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. And that's not the only drama keeping the people working on the show awake. Someone Kubaria wants Portia to suffer her way through her big comeback to RHOA, and he's pulling stunts that really make her casting trickier and trickier by the day. It's now coming out that the Rolls Royce she's been filming with does, in fact, still belong to Simon. And he doesn't want it to be on the show. Now, Portia, how are you letting this man continue embarrassing you like this? Comment down below, like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. The Bravo Shade Room has reported that in actual fact, according to the season to see, Simon is the legal and sole owner of Porsche's gifted Rolls Royce. According to several reports, Gubadia wants all the cameras away from the Rolls Royce. His lawyers issued a letter to True Entertainment. The filing notes, this correspondence serves as a legal demand to cease and desist all video recording, taping, photography and filming of the 2021 Rolls Royce Ghost vehicle legally owned by Mr. Simon Gubadia. In a subpoena, his lawyer said, Mr. Gubadia purchased and insured the 2021 Rolls Royce Ghost solely in his name on October 26, 2021. Mr. Gubadia remains the sole legal owner of the vehicle. As such, Please note that Mr. Gubadia does not consent to the release, disclosure or publication of the Rolls Royce, nor does he consent to the taping, filming, photography or recording of the Rolls Royce, including any aspect of any activity in or about the Rolls Royce. <laughs> Simon is not playing with neither Porsche nor Bravo. He first came for the marital $7 million mansion, petitioning the court to block that from being featured on the show. And while she's being allowed to film there, for now, he wants to snatch the Rolls Royce back. And I think part of that is to stop whatever girls with Rolls Royce energy will take place because Shamia has one, Kenya has, and now he's saying, no, you won't, Portia. Phew. Simon is actually playing far because I think all this pressure is to block Portia's back. He knows that by making her casting as complicated and as litigious as possible, it'll make her a high risk from a business standpoint. And by being persistent, it might even make keeping her unsustainable because it means at any point, should he get his way in court, he really could get the show off it. Right? Lawyers? Comment down below, like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching until the end. Until next time, bye.